On Friday evening, Attorney General Jeff Sessions fired Andrew McCabe on the recommendation of FBI disciplinary officials. Both the Oigden FBI OPR reports concluded that Mr. McCabe had made an unauthorized disclosure to the news media and lacked candor including under oath on multiple occasions, Sessions said in a statement. The FBI expects every employee to adhere to the highest standards of honesty, integrity, and accountability. As the OPR proposal stated, all FBI employees know that lacking candor under oath results in dismissal and that our integrity is our brand, Sessions added. Hours later, President Trump took to Twitter to laud the move. Andrew McCabe fired, a great day for the hard-working men and women of the FBI, a great day for democracy. Sanctimonious James Comey was his boss and made McCabe look like a choir boy. He knew all about the lies and corruption going on at the highest levels of the FBI. On Saturday, Brennan lashed out at President Trump over McCabe's firing. When the full extent of your venality, moral turpitude, and political corruption becomes known, you will take your rightful place as a disgraced demagogue in the dustbin of history. You may scapegoat Andy McCabe, but you will not destroy America, America will triumph over you. Is Brennan's tweet a sign that he is anxious about his alleged role in the Steele dossier? House Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunes is reportedly investigating Brennan and other Obama officials for their role in promoting the dossier. The New York Post's Paul Sperry says Nunes is also investigating whether Brennan perjured himself in a public testimony about the dossier. Sperry reported, in his May 2017 testimony before the intelligence panel, Brennan emphatically denied the dossier factored into the intelligence community's publicly released conclusion last year that Russia meddled in the 2016 election to help Trump's chances of victory. Brennan also swore that he did not know who commissioned the anti-Trump research document, excerpt here, even though senior national security and counterintelligence officials at the Justice Department and FBI knew the previous year that the dossier was funded by the Hillary Clinton campaign. In an ominous tweet, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Samantha Power warned Trump about angering Brennan. Not a good idea to piss off John Brennan, Power tweeted. In response to Power's veiled threat, Wall Street Journal editor James Taranto asked, why? Are we supposed to construe his tweet as a threat to do something? If so, what, 